Welcome to Resupply Tutorial 6. My name is Shim, and today we will review the Fleet Management feature. Take a moment to read over the learning objectives. We reviewed how to register a truck in Video 2. For the purpose of this training, we have three registered trucks, and I've color-coded them green, orange, and dark blue. We can now add labels for donation requests, either in list view or schedule view. On the right box titled color coding, click add new label. Type in a label name, such as corporate, residential, or delivery, and choose a color. Select save. Add more labels by selecting add new label again. Now, when you go back to the calendar view, you can assign confirmed donation requests with the truck as well as a label. The best way to view whether donation requests were properly assigned to a truck is to toggle over to small cards view. On the bottom right of each donation placard, you can see the truck that was assigned. It is absolutely critical that each confirmed donation request is assigned a truck. This assignment is a mechanism for populating the donation requests the driver app for the driver to view. We will now go over the subtabs under Fleet Management. Perhaps the most useful is Schedule View. This view is useful for quickly gauging how full your route is. On the top left, you can toggle to the week that you want to view. You can choose to display an individual day or week. Each row is a different day of the week, broken down by each truck. The columns are broken down by AM and PM. On the right, the Unassigned Pickups box is a useful tool for quickly seeing which donation requests have not been assigned a truck. To easily assign a truck, click on the donation card and assign a truck. You can also select a label as well. Click on the upper right arrow to minimize the boxes and better see the PM pickups. Here is an example of how to interpret this view. On Friday, truck 3 in the morning has two pickups at these following zip codes. The width of pickup corresponds to the count as value. The wider placards mean that the donation has a larger count as value. For instance, this placard has a count as value of 1, whereas this placard has a value of 2. The color of the box corresponds with the color of the label. This pickup is colored red, which corresponds to the corporate label. Clicking on the donation allows you to see more details. Switch the assigned truck, change the count as value, choose a label, or change the pickup order. I will switch the order of this pickup from the first to the second stop, which will then rearrange the donation placards on the schedule. For trucks with many donations, you may need to scroll on the bottom by hovering over the time block to view all of your pickups. List view is similar to schedule view, but organizes based on a compiled list of all the items assigned per truck. This view is useful for seeing all the items that need to be picked up throughout the day and determining whether the truck's capacity will be exceeded and have to come back to the store to unload. Each row is a different day of the week and the columns are broken down by the registered trucks. Up to four trucks are viewable at a time so if you have more than four trucks, use the filter on the right to choose which trucks you want to see. We will now go over the Live View subtab. To view this, your drivers must have logged onto the driver app. If they have not, you will come across an error message. If this is the case for you, all you need to do is either log in yourself to the driver app or have a driver log in. After you get access, 
the live view will take you to a map that gives you a bird's eye view of your trucks and pickup locations. Toggle the arrows to change the dates. Use the drop down arrow next to your truck to view a list of all the pickup locations. Click on Optimize Route to rearrange your pickup order from the furthest to the closest pickups. You will notice that the markers for your pickups will have also changed to reflect the order of the new route. The live view is directly tied in with the driver app. When your driver is on the road using the driver app, the truck icon will reflect the actual location of the truck and will update every few minutes. As the driver stops at each location and marks the pickups complete, the donation placards on the right will also update in the upper right corner. Overall, the live view provides you a visual of all the pickups assigned per truck. Toggle over to the Pickup Reports subtab. If there were any discrepancies with the pickup, your drivers have the option to file a report on site. The reports are compiled here in the Pickup Reports subtab. You have the option to switch weeks or filter between trucks. You can also export your selection to Excel by clicking on the upper right button. The donation placard displays the status of the donation, the donor's information, and the truck that filed the report. View the report by clicking on the bottom of the placard. You can see any pictures taken by the driver or read any notes inputted. Congratulations! You are now ready to assign trucks to your donation requests and manage your trucks. If you would like to better understand how the Fleet Management tab interacts with the Driver app, watch the Driver app tutorial. Otherwise, continue to Video 7 to learn about setting up a phone tree for your store.